So a common question we've had over the years is how do you change the audio alerts inside the Geeks Toy software? Now, it's really not hard to do, so I'm just gonna show you how to do it on screen, step by step. Okay, so a bit of a funny day today. There's a few faults with the exchange, so I'm gonna take this opportunity just to run you through um, a few settings. Now, the three points I'm gonna cover in this video, straight to the point, will be where are the audio alert settings and how do you change them? How you can change the audio alerts for some custom uh, audio alerts, which I'll also show you where you can get some. And then finally, where you can save the changes permanently so that they're always there when you open up the Geeks Toy software in the future. So starting off with the first point, where are the audio alert settings? Really quite easy to locate. If you go to the Market Navigator, right click on the main header bar, um, and go under the show hide submenu you'll see right at the top audio alerts manager so we click that one there and it's popped up underneath our ladder I believe or maybe not click that there so it pops up this is audio alerts manager just to talk you through it briefly each line is a command line for an audio alert you've got a stop button a st start button obviously when it's stopped it's red so that's not active when it's green it's green for go um, so this one goes off when the market is suspended You've got the folder which the sound is located in, the file path of that folder, and then the test button on the right there. Now that's the same for lots of different commands. However, when you get down the bottom, when the countdown reaches a specific time, which you can choose from the drop down, it will set off the audio alert that's been selected. So it's really simple. So that's how you locate the audio alerts and, wh and where they are and how it functions. Now we're going to take a look at changing some of those audio alerts. So I've already done a few here in advance, but I'll just show you where you can get those. So if we open up uh, texttospeech.com, it gives you a little box. You see I've typed in there, pull out quick. Um, the British accent down the bottom, so forth, make that slower maybe. A woman's called Emma that's done it, obviously. And then click create audio file. It takes a minute or so. But what it's going to do now is produce us an MP3 file which um, gives us the audio alert that we want. And you can type anything you like in that box so that it says it at that point in time for you. So there's the audio file. Click it there and then it gives you the option to download. Just play that once more for you. Pull out quick. From there, if you go to convert the file into WAV format, you can upload it here, onlineconvert.com. Um, and then basically it just converts the files and you can download them in WAV format, which is what I've done on the desktop here. Um, which we're now going to implement into the software and use them as our own custom audio alerts. So, for example, the in-play one, we'll need, in fact, we need to open up the folder first. So this is the location folder for where the files are. You can see the file path there. These are the existing default ones. I'm just going to take these three. I'm going to cut them and paste them. It may ask me for administrator rights. You don't think it's going to... Uh, yep, so sorry, we'll, we'll replace the ones that are there if they've got the same name because that's what I want to use. Continue, same for all of them. And allow. So there's the three files go in. So we've got in play, um, not long. And where was the other one? Start. There we go. So in this instance, I'm going to open the in play one. You can see that's updated the file there. Uh, then I'm going to update not long. So we'll change that to, say, I don't know, 10 seconds. And then the final one, um, we're going to put in there, where was it? Not long, in play, and start. So it's, we're going to set a, a start time to say that, you know, this is when you should start trading because sometimes the different trading windows are not the optimal points to be trading. So there's three um, that have been updated there. Just quickly play those for you. Wiggle those fingers. Not long now, baby. Pull out quick. It's not the first time I've had a posh bird say something like that. Right, so we'll close that one down. And that is now active for our Geeks Toy profile. However, we do need to save it because we don't want to lose it in future, which is the third point. So I'm going to save that under pre-race. And this is actually asked me on my other screen, but do I want to overwrite it? Yes, I do. So now those audio alerts are saved at those times inside my Geeks Toy profile for future use.
So that's all the points tick there. Now I think the Simpsons are a little bit old now in the Geeks Toy software, so I don't know what you guys think, but drop us a comment below and hopefully um, between us we can persuade the Geek to update the, uh, the audio files to Emma um, indefinitely, hopefully. <laughs>